Okay, the next thing to do now is the spine. Now, the tool we're going to use is up here in animation, and it's this one here, uh, the IK spline handle tool. Alright, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm just going to click on my top joint, okay, and then I'm just going to go down to my, um, I think it's my pelvis here, oh, and there we go, alright. Now, what I'll need to do, uh, I'm just going to turn off, I'm just going to turn off my ability to select joints. It'll just make things uh, a bit easier. All right. And if you have a look, you can see this blue line here. That's what we need to select. All right. So I'm going to select on it. Then I'm going to select the right mouse button and control vertex. All right, my, another menu turns up occasionally, but uh, just keep selecting it until it shows control vertex. There we go. And we should see our control vertexes. They're the uh, pink boxes. Now, I'll go up, and I'll just start with this top one. I'll select on it. And now I'm going to go create deformers cluster, and I'll just select on the right uh, on the uh, box options. All right, there we go. Make sure that relative is selected. Uh, that's uh, pretty important. And hit create. All right, you'll see now that uh, your control vertex has been replaced by a cluster. All right, let's go in and do it again for the second one. Deselect, select the blue curve, go to control vertex, select your second one. All right, now you can just go create cluster. It should be uh, default now. Yep, create. Deselect, select the blue line again, control vertex. All right, uh, I'm going to select this here, create deformers cluster, and then I'm just going to go down and okay, select the one on the bottom. Okay, don't know what menu that is. All right, yep, there we go, control vertex, and I'll just select this last one here. Got it, create deformers cluster. All right, now I want these clusters, I want these pivot points to be located on the spine, I mean on the joint that I'm going to use, all right. So press W to move, then I'm going to press D and V at the same time, and just to snap to joint. Okay, that one was no problem. Okay, select on my cluster, D and V, and I'll just snap it to this joint down here. All right, and I'll select this here, press and hold D, Press and hold V. Okay, snaps like so. Right, that top one should be okay. Good. All right. So there's the clusters. Uh, I'll give these names. All right. All right. So I just go in. All right. And I'll just call that. I'll call it head underscore cluster. this one, I think that was the shoulder, sh 
shoulder underscore cluster. Alright. I'll call that I'll call that gut underscore cluster and down here what did I call them all before? Is it the pelvis or the hip? Alright, I'll call that pelvis underscore cluster. Okay, there I go. Alright, that's okay. Alright, I've got those named. Now it's time for the controls. I just need to go up and just I'll just turn my body model on. Just play grid. Alright. Now just want to make a curve. And let's get it up. Alright. And uh, alright, I'm just gonna shape this just a little bit. Oh, I'm not going to shape it. Alright, you can shape it uh, if you like. But uh, again, oops, I got it wrong. Alright, there we go. In place. Now, what I want to be doing is I want to again move that pivot point to my joint. So I'm going to press and hold D, press and hold V, and just snap to my joint just there. All right. Okay, good. Now I'm going to command D to duplicate and I'll do it for the next one up here. All right, just scale it out a little bit. All right, I'll give myself a bit more space. All right, and again, just press and hold D, press and hold V, and snap your pivot point to the joint. And just do that one more time. Command D. Alright, up to the shoulders. Alright, I'm just going to press and hold V. Alright, there, that's probably the easiest. And there I go. That should do. It's not great, but that should be fine. And Command D. Up there. Alright. And this. Oops. Snap to point. All right, now I did, of course, forget again to delete my history and freeze transformations. Edit, delete by type history, modify freeze transformations. Do that again. Edit, delete by type history. Modify freeze transformations. Okay. And uh, just one more up here. All right. So back to history. Modify freeze transformations. All right. <coughs> of course, I'll go in and uh, I'll give those all names a little bit later. But. Uh, all right, the next thing we do, all right, is, okay, we select our control. All right, actually, I should give them a name now. All right, pelvis underscore control. That was gut underscore control shoulder control. Head control. Okay, there we go. Now, what I want to do 
is probably easiest to do it here. I'll select my head control and then press the command key to select my head cluster like that. All right, you'll see them up there. Now we will constrain and point. All right, let's see, let's see if there's any options. No, they're not, that's okay. And add. All right, so now, yep, we can move that. Good, do that again. Match the shoulder with the shoulder. Constrain point. And then the gut with the gut. Constrain point. And then do pelvis and pelvis. Good, so there we go. We're nearly finished now. And uh, next we'll just, hopefully the next tutorial will be the last. Great, so it should be, oops, don't want that. So hopefully your model now is just starting to make uh, some shapes like that. Remember, uh, delete your history and freeze transformations on uh, your, uh, your objects here. Okay, that's that.